Hello friends, we are back for part two of watching TikToks in Spanish. I love these, they're literally so funny and I'm so excited I'm doing this because it's just a way to show a different side of me and then get to connect with more people who do speak Spanish and either way, they're really funny and I enjoy doing this. So let's get into these. All right, so this one says when you arrive from seeing your boyfriend and she's like all disheveled. <laughs> Her makeup is all, oh my God. And then she's like, what mom? We were only talking. <laughs> oh my God. She's like, we went to drink coffee. And then she has like come basically on her shoulders. Oh my God, that one is really funny. <laughs> Entrando a la semana como que pam, 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 pam. La semana es tuya, cabrona. Y la luna está en escorpio. So si tienes que soltar algo, suéltalo. Lo que no te merece, que se vaya pa' afuera. Oh my God, this guy has got it. He's like, ooh. All right, so he says, Entrando la semana como que, ooh, ooh. So, <laughs> so at the beginning of the week, he's like, well, the caption is Feliz Lunes. So happy Monday. And he's like, arriving into the week, like, he's like, the week is yours, bitch. He's like, if you gotta let something go, you gotta let it go. If something doesn't deserve you or you don't want something, let it go out the window, let it go outside, and never to return again. That's the kind of energy we're gonna be on this whole year, okay, people? Dime algo que empezaste a hacer por mame y se te hizo costumbre. No, pues una vez me hice pendejo y así ya me quedé. So they're saying, uh, like, tell me something you did originally as a joke, like, just for the hell of it that you haven't gotten rid of. And then the guy's like, oh, well, I'm a pendejo. <laughs> and he hasn't gotten rid of it. So I don't know, like, pendejo has so many meanings. So it's kind of hard to translate in that way because I've literally heard it used in so many different ways and so many different, like, exclamations and situations. But basically, you can translate it to idiot stupid basically around those areas Guayando. Guayando. <laughs> Oh my god, first off, that Selena song at the end, I'm watching her series on Netflix. Amazing. I freaking love the actress who's playing Selena. She's doing amazing. I love the acting. I love the singing. I love learning about her life because I knew about her. Like, I heard about her growing up, but I wasn't really alive when she was booming, when she was really popping and... So it's nice to kind of relive those moments again. But basically, they're saying that white people, when they're cleaning their house, they don't play any music. They're kind of just bored. They're doing whatever, which is true. Like, I, at least for me, like, I did not grow up in a household that was always playing music. My mom was not cleaning to music. She wasn't dancing to music. So, and then, as I noticed, I learned more about, like, Latin culture and just people and the music like they listen to music in the morning they listen to music at night like literally it's everywhere when i was in the dominican republic a few times literally music everywhere at all hours of the day even till like 11 12 at night and it kind of gets annoying but sometimes it's fun like it just kind of increases the vibrations you get a higher frequency you just feel good you want to dance and just kind of let loose and i like that about that and that's something i'm gonna do too when i have my own place and i start cleaning i'm definitely gonna listen to music while i'm doing it because it just is fun i'll practice my dance moves and just makes the time go by faster honestly First day with the Latina, we're going down to Canada to watch the Ottawa Senators take on the St. Louis Blues. Uh, we're gonna have a burger, a poutine, Molson Canyons by our side, 
Really excited, I hope she likes it, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. One month into dating Latina, first date went great. She taught me words like bonita, eres hermosa. I even got in the family WhatsApp group chat, and um, she got me this shirt. Um, told me I couldn't wear jerseys anymore, but you know, we all make sacrifices. Looking forward to this date, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Un año in una relación con el amor de mi vida. Estoy muy emocionado porque esta noche es nuestro aniversario. Vamos a ir a bailar bachata, salsa, tomar agua diente, y después uh, les cuento cómo nos fue. Chao. Oh that is so oh my god i'm not i'm not gonna make any like stereotypes like this is obviously a joke i don't know if it's real maybe it's real but maybe it's inspired by a true story but so basically this guy is going through the timeline of his relationship with a latina basically he's saying the progression of going on a date she's teaching him some spanish words he gets accepted into the family group chat on whatsapp and then by the end four years he's like she doesn't allow me to talk to anybody like help me let my family know i'm okay and i don't know if it's true like comment below if you're a latina and this is true because i've seen some videos regarding this topic and i know that they can be jokes but sometimes i feel like there's so many jokes so it has to be real in a sense that you start off well and then after a while like they control you like the one i did in the last video about the government and the vaccine but your girlfriend's controlling you so what's the difference like is that true are they really controlling do they change after a while and don't allow you to talk to anybody let me know please This is so funny. So obviously the guy's just chilling. He's got a little panza going on, a little belly. And the song, I, I don't know, is it a real song? And the song's like, I don't care if you're chubby. <laughs> and then they zoom into his belly and then he's like, fuck you. Tengo que hacer del dos. ¿Del dos? Sí, o sea, voy a hacer popo, vale. ¿Popo? Sí, Vanessa, voy a cagar. Eso que todos hacemos. ¿Es en serio? Sí. Ay, Julia. No, yo no cago, ¿eh? Pues yo soy bonita. ¿Qué? Las, ¿Las bonitas no cagan o qué? No. No, Julia. A ver, ¿cuándo has visto una supermodelo cagando? O a ver, ¿tú te imaginas a J-Lo sacando una rajita de canela de su hermosísimo trasero? Pues no sé, nunca lo había pensado. No, obviamente no, Julia. This one's funny. It's kind of just playing on the whole thing like, oh, women don't poop or fart or whatever. But she's like, oh, I have to poo. And then this like pretty whatever, the same girl, rich girl, whatever is like, oh, you poo? I don't poo. Have you ever seen J-Lo pooping or supermodels pooping? And it's kind of true. And then the girl's like, oh, I've never thought of it like that. And I was like. And now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, I've never thought of these famous people pooping either, but you know that they do. And they probably poop more than us because a lot of them probably get like colonics and stuff to help with like bloating and to just clear their digestive system. So they do a lot to uh, maintain their physiques and beauty. Let's just say that. All right, we're on to the last one. Abuelita, ¿para qué tienes mi cama si al, al rato me voy a acostar? Oh my god, this one is actually a really good clap back. Oh my god, so the guy was like, oh grandma, why are you fixing my bed? If I'm just gonna go back and sleep in it later. And, and then she's like, oh well, why do you wipe when you poop if you're going to poop again? So that one's pretty true. That makes me wonder, did they wipe themselves, you know, a hundred to a thousand years ago like did they wipe themselves or clean themselves with like water maybe i'm gonna have to look into this like don't you ever wonder sometimes what people used to do hundreds of years ago let alone thousands of years ago let alone hundreds of thousands of years ago like how were the early humans and animals and our early ancestors like cleaning themselves and how did they deal with their periods and 
there's so much information I just want to know about their time periods because time has changed a lot and thankfully we have our hygiene supplies nowadays but they didn't have that necessarily maybe they did i don't know back then so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you next time